Welcome to another Carbis One video. This is an end-up tour of a 2022 Toyota Hilux Utility. In this video, I'll give you a full walk around of this ute. I'll show you the extra, the interior, a couple of interesting features of the car, and so on. Let's get straight into it. Towards the front, you've got standard halogen headlights, as you can see. You can also see that you've got the Hilux logo embossed into the side of the headlight there. It's a little nice little detail. The step a little bit back, you can also see it's nicely blacked out inside the headlight, which kind of just looks a little bit nice as well. And you can see you've got little bits of chrome as well. The step a little bit back, you can probably have a better look of the front grille. You can see you've got these really nice grey, metallic grey surrounds surrounding the grille there, which looks pretty cool. Switch to a wide angle lens so you can have a better look. So if you go for the top of the range, you can see these little blank spaces will be additional lights as well, which you don't get in this one. Show you the fuel consumption of this ute. So the fuel consumption of this ute is 7.1 litres per 100 kilometres. You can also see it's a diesel model and it is a manual. So this was fitted with a five, six speed manual transmission and a 4x2, meaning it's only a rear wheel drive model. So you can get this on 4x4 where you got um, four wheel drive. And you can see it's a double cup, so you got the additional doors as well, in case you're wondering. Urban 8.5, extra urban 6.4. You can see the sides of the car, you can see you've got the blacked out side view mirrors, you can see you've got the blacked out, the plastic, the non-body coloured, what you call handles as well. Don't want to show you this wheel so it's a little bit dirty so I'm probably just going to go and show you the other side instead. So I'll just show you your wheels. So in terms of the tyres you can see they are a Yokohama Geo Lander. 81 AT G94 tire in terms of they're made in Thailand and you can see in terms of tire size they are a 70 inch tire you can also see they've gone for a this sort of matte black finish which actually looks quite nice opposed to going for those bright steel style wheels so you can see there so it actually looks quite nice I quite like them you can also see I just realized you've got a outside step there which is actually nice as well so pretty nice Pretty solid obviously yeah so you can see suspension there and you can see the tires as well you can see a lot of tread so quite chunky as well so it's great when you're going a little bit off-roading and stuff like that when you're going gravel or different sort of terrain you can see the displacement as well 2.8 liter four-cylinder diesel Show the side profile. You can see how dirty the front wheel is. I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but there's um like a bit of mud on the side there. So you can see you got the plastic door handles I was telling you about there. Got LED indicators mounted into the side view mirrors there too. Show the rear wheels as well. Probably have a bad look over here. See, so you got some additional. You got these little sort of tabs here, which you can tie down large items as well. I'll show you the rear of the Hilux as well. You see it's a little bit dark, dark, it's got a little bit of this sort of dark sort of finish on the side here, which looks pretty nice as well. You can also see that this part of the um, the bumper has actually got this textured finish, which is really great when you want to step onto the vehicle and actually access the tailgate or something like that, which I thought was pretty nice. So you've got better levels of grip and stuff like that. You can see you've got a rear backup camera as well there, and an extra third braking light. So you got some mud flaps there. Which the camera's not really seem to be picking up pretty well, but there you go. So you got some mud flaps there. Hilux logo, your full-size spare tire, and you can see you got a solid 
rear axle as well. You can see you've got leaf spring suspension. You can see you also got some handles here, which is I think quite nice. I think this was a little bit different before. So you can see um the tailgate has been slightly revised. So to open it, pull this over here, pull this over here, and then this will come down. And this has gotten a little bit lighter as well, this was a lot heavier before. And that opens nice and flush. And you can see this is not installed, this does not have the top liner, so you're gonna end up damaging the sole of the inside of the tray there, but you can get the top liner installed which protects the tray. Instead, also you end up damaging all this and scratching it up. So you can see it's quite large. In terms of the um, in terms of the storage capacity and stuff like that, I'll leave that in the motion graphics. So you can see it's nice and flat, so it makes it easy to slide large items across. Um, there doesn't seem to be any sort of hooks inside. I didn't in the earlier versions there were, but they seem to have moved it. Maybe on this, maybe since this version, they've got these little tabs here to tie down items, so they must have moved them around. Something like that. So pretty nice. And to close it, you could just easily one-handed. Yeah, it's a lot more lighter than it was before. And you don't have to fumble with any any locks or anything. This actually nicely just like that. See the lock in there? Just much more easier than it was before. Because I remember before I would have to fumble with them and they both have to meet up. Especially when you're dealing with these ones, they're kind of really annoying to close, so that's nice. So you also got some additional tabs here too. Take it tie items as well there too. And also one thing I do like is um on this one, you can probably see you've got um a frame here which actually could protect you because I've actually seen one car pretty crazy. It had an accident and the whole tray lifted off and went through the window. It's insane. It happened um, about a few months back. I saw this other U. So that sort of plate actually kind of protects you. So it's pretty crazy if you get re-ended. But yeah, so that's that's really handy they've got that. So I'll just show you there. Single exhaust. Show the interior. Before I get in, I thought I'd show you the key fob. So the key fob is pretty standard looking key. It's got the Toyota logo, Toyota logo. You can see you got a blank button there, which I sorry, excuse me, I just burped just then. And um, just for you know, if you, high trim levels probably have some additional buttons or stuff like that, other stuff there. So I'll just show you the interior. So you can see you also got the Toyota logo over there, which I thought was pretty cool. Neat. Jump inside. So the build quality is pretty nice. Very nice and solid. So here's the interior of the Toyota Hilux utility. Now because I've got the key on this one, I'll just turn it on. So standard flip key on this one. Go for higher trim levels, you can see you've got a blank button here which will be your push start ignition so this goes in there. Pretty um pretty standard stuff. You can see this goes in there and there's a little ring that illuminates so you don't I'm just gonna turn on to the accessory mode. Like that. You can see you got a little video that plays. That's like Toyota. I'll just put this all the way down in case the radio plays. Right. There. Okay, so here you go. So you've got some really cool looking gauges, even though this is a, um, considered like a base model. You've got some really nice looking gauges here. You can see they've got this really rugged sort of texture, very similar to the SR5. So you can see they look really sharp looking. You've got this, you can see you've got your temperature gauge towards the bottom, rev count to the left. And then you can see towards the right, you got your speedometer, and you can see your you got your fuel gauge as well. And I quite like that sort of finish over there. You can see in the um, if I maybe if I hit the zoom a bit more, you can see it's very cool. I quite like that little finish there. It looks really really cool. 
you can see you got the saw pad on the outside there too as well you can see you've got a mini trip computer there which you can scroll through all your sort of different information and stuff like that you can see your radio stations um you got lane keeping you got you can see on the sides that you got the um uh forward collision and you got the lane departure warning there so you can see all that sort of information there and all that so i thought that's pretty neat pretty nice so you can see and i think if you can scroll down you can see the range the economy stuff like that all that sort of thing digital speed you can see digital readout and stuff like that So if I just if I just switch to a the wide angle lens, you can see you got a rubber steering wheel, pretty standard looking stuff. You can see towards the left you got your wipe controls left, and then you've got your headlight indicator controls to the right, so pretty standard looking stuff there. You can see you got your controls here, which is also pretty nice. You can see they feel very very well screwed together. Hand free telephone, all really nice here. Oop, don't want to connect that now. And you can see all your buttons here for really nice. As I mentioned earlier, you got um, lane departure warning so the car can keep itself in this lane so you don't drift off to the lane and you got forward collision as well which is actually quite handy let's say in town so if someone jumps in front of you your car can straight away will straight apply the brakes and stuff like that um you can see all your sensors up there for that system there too all feels pretty nice and you can see you got the standard cruise control um stalk over there as well and this fake plastic trim here you can see the dashboard's all pretty hard plastics up here and you can see you've got this fake sort of stitching there too. Uh, I just realized there's also a clock here which is quite nice in this really retro, very dated sort of style here. You can see you can, not like people really use it that much there. You can see. i show you the head unit. So you can see this is your head unit that comes with the car. Um, I'm not sure if this one, I think this one does come with Apple CarPlay and um, Android Auto but I'll Feel free to correct me in the description below. So I'll just click the radio, you can just have a little listen to the radio. Uh, this one looks like it's looking at presets. Can you change it to FM? I don't know. So we could... I've... Source. Oh, there you go. So FM, and then we'll just, just have a little radio test. So you can see the audio quality is actually pretty good. Um, I've done that purposely, like that, just to um, just to avoid copyright and stuff like that. But you can see, um, there's quite responsiveness. It's pretty good. So for normally, you'd have pretty garbage sound systems, but it actually sounds pretty good. So you can see you got your bass speakers. You got some tweeters up in the door in the door cards there too. So you got some pretty good sound. You can see station list, all that. Um, they've improved the the graphics wise. Um. The colors look a bit washed out, I'll be honest, but in terms of responsiveness, it is pretty decent. Um, if I just go back to menu, um, this one doesn't appear to have any navigation, so if you're going into the state, you might run into a problem with using Apple CarPlay and stuff like that because um, the reception does come out. But apart from that, um, no one really uses navigation, so you can see it's pretty responsive and everything, so all pretty standard stuff anyway. So you can see um, your storage is actually pretty good here too. So you can see you've got some. Oh, there you go. Is there something stuck there? It's unusual. There you go. Anyway, so you can see you've got some storage up there, which is quite nice. You can see some additional storage there too. You can see also even to hold your drinks. There's a lot of storage there too. You can easily fit your drink there. You can fit that one there. You've got probably squeeze that one in there if you really want to um just to for argument's sake let's see if you can fit this whole bottle in there and it looks like we can so that's good so you got some plenty of storage there I'll test out this one here yeah closing pretty nicely as well and i don't think you, could, you had a good look but if i there's an actual dedicated but um bottle holder over there too which is quite nice See, even the seats feel pretty good as well, and you can see the seats also have this really nice sort of textured sort of finish there. You can see it's got this great silver stitching here, which doesn't look like silver on camera, but it is. And you got these sort of lines, but they feel really nice and they feel quite plush as well. So, um, you won't be disappointed. So, 
very nice looking seats and you got this relatively hard arm sort of um, armrest there got a standard handbrake there eco power buttons here and you can got your put the handbrake up make sure you got your six speed manual and with this vinyl shift boot you can see also here if i just thought let's have a look you got a appears to be an aux port you can see additional blank buttons for high trim levels 120 watt plus 12 watt power outlet and you've got your air conditioning controls here pretty standard hatch of hvac controls with high trim levels getting you climb control so you can see all your different zones and so low and high you can see the buttons feel pretty all right so just turn on the engine you can just probably have a fuel so it blows pretty hard um, obviously the aircon, no, you're not going to get any refrigerant with the accessory on one, it's just going to be blowing nothing hot and cold. Also like, I just realised just here, instead of having a car, they've actually got a picture of a ute or pickup truck over here, which I thought was pretty cool, so that's just the switch from from recycling to the way around and you can see it's quite a, a bit loud but anyway what is this feels pretty solid pretty cool even the shift boot you can see some silver stitching there as well got no you don't have any form of any um Mac pockets there. I mean, sorry, um, Bendy Mirror got another one there. You do have something that's new here, also, you've got the SOS system. So, let's say, and again, accident, you just flick this, which I'm not gonna do, and then you'll press this button here, SOS, and you know, it'll send an emergency services. So, if you are in a remote area, ambulance or police will come or something like that. You can see you've got a sunglass hole there, it's nice, and some standard interior illumination. All pretty cool stuff. So we'll just check out the rear seats because this is a dual cub. So didn't show you the dashboard's all hard plastics, but you don't really care. You're driving a use, so it's kind of expected. Also, quite like how um, you can see the floorboard. It's actually all this sort of rubberized. I'll just move this up material here. Which I thought was pretty smart because like if you're having muddy boots and stuff like that, you're going to get mud over the interior so they've actually thought this through by having this material and also if you get water it'll be easy to clean so that's cool so I thought that's pretty smart what they've done there you can see there's some additional cup holders there I just didn't really realise there which can't fit that sort of more for coffee cups but um pretty nice as well got some additional buttons there too um increased intensity of the lights other up and um, near stuff like that, so this all sort of stuff there. Now we'll just show you the rear seats, shall we? For that, I just forgot, I might just show you the door cards or hard plastics. It's cloth there, and you can see all your switches all feel pretty premium as well. So these are built in Thailand, I think I just forgot to mention about that earlier. So there you go, here's the factory mats. So these are the rubber mats that come in the car, come with the car. Pretty nice and you can see I think they've put one of them on over there so I'm gonna just throw that there so you go so over here we'll show you the you can see you've got your local center armrest and you can easily you should be able to fit these drink bottles there So you can see the drink bottles can fit nicely over there. You do have a bit of some storage there, I'm hoping, and yes, you do. So you can see you got some storage to fit your drinks there. It's a little bit snug, and I don't think the camera can see it, but if I just put the zoom in there, you can see you can fit that bottles there very nicely. So pretty nice, so all nicely. Same in treatment as the front. You can see the seats also look pretty good as well with that same line finish, and some of this this time you get some appears to be some black stitching so it's pretty nice and yeah these are quite comfortable seats um lob lots of um, windows as well so you can a good visibility in the front the sides and there doesn't seem to be any um real blind spots as such tiny bit there but you know it's 
not too bad actually. You can see even the rear visibility is pretty good as well. You can also see here, see it's max if I put this down, uh, max 4 kilograms, which I'll convert to pounds. So you can actually put like some, you know, I don't know, shoes or something like that there, or bags or something like that. So you can go shopping with you, some pockets here and here. And I'll just show you the dashboard from the rear seat. So while I'm in the, in the middle here, you can actually see that I've got some good legroom, which is quite nice, and you've got a place to keep your feet as well, which is also really nice as well. In terms of the door card, you can see same treatment as the front, all hard plastics there, and this semi-soft touch with the um, armrest as well. All pretty all right, and you can see stitching the seats there. And a lot of handles here, so if you want to get in another car, it makes it easier. Also quite like how it opens quite wide and there isn't any like there isn't any like wheel arch that actually gets in the way so if you do have a pram if you choose not pram on um, a baby boost if you choose to because they are isofix points here you're gonna be able, easily be able to put that in there too so I'll just show you the engine in terms of the specs and the power I'll leave down the description in the sorry in the motion graphics so this is gonna get a little bit ugly, so bear with me one second. This is the engine bay, four cylinder engine. Uh, 2.8 litre. I believe that's what I said. Um, so I'll just show you the engine bay. So you can see this is just a rocket cover there. You've got your diesel fuel filter there. You can see your battery here. It's in the CCA, it looks like the 490. It's probably a bit bigger for a car like this. And it's by USA, so they make good batteries, so. And they're made in Thailand. Um, you can see you've got your power steering fluid there, which I thought this would have electric steering. But yeah, it's not. So you can see um, the coolant, brake fluid vert reservoir, stuff like that. I'll switch to a wide angle lens, you might have a better look. Did you mention these are built in Thailand? This car is for sale at French Guy Toyota. You can see the the um, logo there. So I hope you um hope you enjoyed this video and sorry for the sixth minute video. It's a little bit last minute video, but um yeah. Anyway, I'll leave I'll leave the details in the description below if you're interested in this vehicle. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.